Hello again, ladies and gents, and welcome back to another episode of Blitz with Shell. Today we will be taking a gander at this beast, this fancy beast of a Tier 9 American tank destroyer, the Elder of the Tribe, the T-30. Now, I am a little late to the party. I just recently unlocked a 155 mil gun. This is one of the older TDs in the game. So, that being said, um, there are plenty of other reviews out there, but I just wanted to give a brief overview and get into some gameplay. So pretty much how this tank works in a nutshell is very similarly to like a T-29, T-32 in that it's American, it has very very good turret armor, it's chassis armor isn't bad but it's not great, it's got some big old tracks though so you can get some good side scraping in. You never want anybody to be hitting you flush from the sides and the rear. Overall mobility, it honestly plays a lot like a heavy, I wouldn't call it mobile per se, but I wouldn't say that it's really immobile either unless you really get into some soft terrain. Uh, but overall this gun, the the top gun I find is great, however very slow reload, very derpy, does have a great 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 uh, alpha damage though of you can be hitting 650, 700 and some alpha no problem at all. So how's the grind to get this thing fully maxed out? Unlike some of the other German tanks that I've done some reviews on, Prior to getting the top gun, you'll find that I found that it's actually pretty pleasurable. Um, with the T28 prototype, the top gun that you get in that TD, it transfers over. And so this 120 mil gun, I find that it's not overpowered. It's not under. I'm sorry, it's not underpowered. I'm um, at tier nine. I find that if you shoot for the right weak spots, you can even continue to pummel tier ten tanks, no problem whatsoever. The penetration is good enough to where you don't feel like you're really lacking in the ammo department. But I find that the playstyle shifts a little bit differently. I find that the reload's fast enough with that gun to where you can treat this tank more as a true heavy. Whereas once you get that 155 mil, um, it really relegates it to being very slow, ambushing, getting yourself hauled down into some nice strong positions, holding a choke point so your mediums can flank, um, those sorts of anchoring type positions. Uh, but that being said, the penetration on this gun is excellent. You can get well over 300 mil of penetration with AP alone. I um, mean, you do have APCR if you need it. As far as loadout goes, everything that I put in here is just to improve the gun's performance. Um, this is the Vents Gun Rammer, um, <clears throat> Enhanced Gun Lang Drive. But without further ado, I figured let's get into some gameplay. But just as an aside, this tank is huge, as you can see. So the side profile, when rotating the turret, also... Be very, very wary that you're keeping the strong point facing forward. Um, you don't want people shooting you from multiple angles because then when you go to engage one target, uh, they'll be able to easily penetrate the side of your turret. So that being said, we will be going to mines, and it looks like we have a very T-54 heavy um, matchup. T-54 predominance here. So what to do in this sort of situation? You can sit back, camp take pot shots, you can go to the river. What I like to do is play a little more aggressively. <clears throat> I am in a credit shortage, so I apologize for not having any consumables, uh, which might hamper our performance somewhat. However, I find that I like to play a little more aggressive, get up in this main hill, for a little bit at least, until you start getting snipers over on the river, especially if we don't secure that river position, then I will back off a little bit. And sometimes I like to just hang out here just waiting for one of those T-54s uh, to try to snipe on the rest of our team. But in the meantime, I think I'm going to try to engage the IS-3 and see what else we can find over this ridge. And perhaps help the T-54s if I can support them. But I have a feeling that our hands are going to be full. Laid one into the T-30 there. Now, I will say that this tank is one of the main <clears throat> powerhouses of any team. So if you see a T-30 sitting around, you definitely want to take it out quickly. The reason being is that one shot can do a lot of damage in a short period of time if you happen to hit. As you can see there, I donked that shot completely. I uh, over-descended the gun. Slip of the fingers, if we will. And so this reload's coming back around, trying to catch this guy off guard. Laid one into him and he's gone. So with their heavy gun out of the match, now it just comes down to holding this area and perhaps getting the 
hill. I don't think we're going to hold on to that much longer, though. Okay, so that IS-8 is going to be wanting to take me out. So I'm going to try to get hull down again. And I'm not going to get too aggressive because this tank, remember, its profile is very big and we have this IS-8. Now, I have no clue why an IS-8 would want to be sniping, but who am I to ask? I will just maybe switch over to HE, see if I can bounce one off of the turret. Nope, and he moved just in time. Uh, it is the weekend, so we know what happens then, folks. Tank is not much of a sniper, so I have low quality settings, so the rendering um, wasn't perfect there. And so it looked like I could hit him, however, I actually just hit the ground. I'm going to wait for him to either get brave or run away. One or the other. And this, you know, it took me a while to get this replay going just because... The gameplay can be pretty boring. At times you're just camping, waiting, have a pack of sandwiches, kind of hoping that somebody makes a move. However, you can play a little more aggressive. Um, let's see if we can get set up. I do not think the IS-8 can see me at this point, but now that I have shot, he probably can. However, he's dead, so it doesn't even matter. So we got to hit off into <clears throat> our buddy, this T-54 over here. He probably won't make it to see another day. He probably won't see another shot from this big 155 mil gun, but if he does, it'll be the last shot he sees. I'm gonna load HE just so I don't bounce anything off the turret. If anything, I'll do a little bit of damage. And... No, too much of a bounce. We did cap. We'll play one more match just to see if we can't get another map going on. I feel like this is a very medium predominant map. It's not a bad map for the T-30 though, because there are some pretty good hull down positions, especially in the middle there. So I would say that we did pretty darn good. Um, not personally, but it's as a team. That tortoise really killed it. And so what we can do now is we have limited funds to be able to load up some consumables and let's see what happens next but yeah is this tank um who would enjoy this kind of tank if you're someone who's patient you don't necessarily want to be on the front lines you really like to support from behind and have some serious firepower or you're the kind of person that likes to get into a stronghold type position with very good armor if those are the kind of tanks and strategies that you prefer uh, this is definitely, definitely a good tank. If you like the T-29, uh, if you like the T-32, if you happen to buy the Tier 8 Premium, the T-34, and you really enjoyed playing in that and do, do well in it, I would say that you would probably also like this tank. Just know that with the Top Gun, um, <clears throat> it does change your reload speed, so it won't play exactly like a T-29 will. Okay, so let's get into this hold down position. I am aware that our chassis is a little bit exposed, so I'm trying to lower the angle a little bit. See if we can't... Primarily wait in here, and now I will say this this little bush here is the bane of my existence on this map. In many, <laughs> many a tanker's bane. Because you'll always get like a Patton or object or something just waiting there, just sniping away. Whoop, and poking out like that, and people, I'm not sure if people have been eating too much lead paint or what, but they always, as soon as this person waits and disappears, it's almost like object permanence problems where everyone just forgets they're there. And so what I'm going to do is try to pin them down the best that I can, get hull down, and then you can pop up and it kind of exposes you a little bit more than you may like. But, when you come back down, they see nothing but turret, and that's what you want them to be seeing. You want them to have nothing to shoot at that isn't on top of that chassis, so... Gonna take a clutch shot, random. 
See what happens? Or blind shot. Maybe I should use the proper terms here, but okay, so <clears throat> someone's in that bush waiting. And I think I'm gonna go either help out that IS6 or get a shot into this unlucky Pershing. Yep, he sees me. So someone's gonna get a shot in my side, I have a feeling. Oh, free lunch. Now this ICU I think needs to uh, grow a pair and get working on this uh, T-30 over here. However, he doesn't want to take the risk. But I will. Okay, and he's gone. It's a one hit for either of us. I don't see... Oh, he is going to be a one hit, so he is kind of not feeling too brave. Okay, so this Pershing has to go. Looks like he's going to move. We got a big ol' hit into him. And I will say that this reload speed, you get about a hair over three rounds a minute. So, you are limited in how much damage you can put out. You really are. Uh, however, the high alpha, you'll find that you can get yourself some pretty high scoring games and not even realize it, because it feels like you're putting off shots so slowly. However, they do add up. Donk that shot. So this gun will troll you from time to time. You'll have everything lined up perfect, which that was not, granted. Um, but you can even have everything lined up perfect and shots like that will come to the surface. Okay. Had a hunch that he hadn't moved too far from there. And so now it's just the cleanup crew. I see you coming in. Going by. Not sure what he's doing. If he's going to make it. Can he shoot him? And he does. Good job, I see you. So we win. Woo! Yeah, so that's what this tank can do. Um, feel free to subscribe below, leave some comments. Let me know what you guys want to see. Again, a huge thank you to everybody on the subreddit, uh, World of Tanks Blitz. You guys are great. Now, thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll talk to you soon. Peace.